Creepy. Ah. Anyway, hello everybody, and welcome back to Burpees Comic Book Asylum for issue, volume, edition, number 13, whatever the fuck you want to call it. The gin and tonic motherfucking has returned. It's down a little bit more. Ha! Ah. Alright. We're ready to fucking rock today. Alright, so it's been a while. I know I'm running late again. Been busy as fuck with college. Um, but uh, that's no excuse. I need to get this shit done. I need to get it done right. I did try to film this once. I got 12 minutes in and realized it sucked ass. Alright? I didn't feel it. I felt like I was phoning the shit in. We're not going to fucking have that in the asylum. There's no phoning in. You're either in or you're fucking out. Um, unless, unless you don't want to be in this episode, then you know it's come back next episode, but, uh, <laughs> okay, well, maybe only I'm in and out. Uh, I'm confused now. Am I in or am I out? I'm out of my fucking mind. I know that shit. And you know this as well. So, anyway, enough about me and a little bit about you. How are you doing? You don't fucking say. That's crazy. All right. Um, let's get to some comic book stuff. Uh, I want to cover something real quick that's not really related to an issue in particular, uh, but more of an issue that is something as a reoccurring, uh, occurrence, reoccurring occurrence on the asylum here. Um, and that is my constant ribbing of Mr. Greg Land. Um, if you've never seen this show, this is what it basically entails. Um, and basically, that's uh, my Greg Land faces and smiles. Um, if you look at his art, and you're new to this, um, look at a piece of art, more than likely one of those things that I just did there is uh, the facial structure of uh, one of the characters on the page you're looking at that is Greg Landian. Anyway, so I feel like I ribbed this guy quite a bit. Uh, he's a much better artist than me. I want to, again, point this out. I know I point this out continuously. I'm in no place to make fun of an artist. Um, because if me and him had to have a uh, an, an art off or whatever the fuck you want to call it, I would probably crawl into a fetal position and cry, um, and then he'd probably pee on me. Um, and it would be much deserved, considering the amount of ribbing I've given him. Uh, we're not quite at a uh, fucking dumbass hat guy giving Rob Liefeld a drawing book. That guy's a fucking tool. If you ever see my fucking shit dude with the hat, don't fucking watch his shit. You're not welcome. Uh, Rob Liefeld, you're welcome. Um, so anyway, uh, not... Welcome, as in for defending you, but you're welcome to come to the asylum. Uh, literally. Come on down. Let's get you on the show. Yeah, never gonna happen. Um, <laughs> I couldn't even get the Marvel copy boy, probably, on this show. Anyway, so, uh, because I want to be fair and balanced here at the asylum, because we all know it's all about being fair and balanced at the asylum, uh, I got this little promo piece um, from my local comic shop, and I just want to point it out, because I did think uh, it was pretty fucking cool, and it, I will... Uh, once I've moved, uh, also to cover that, the room looks a lot more barren than it did in earlier videos because I'm in the process of trying to sell my house. Uh, my wife and I are looking to move to Tejas, uh, Texas, if you will, uh, from Alaska. So next year we'll be in Texas. So if you're living in Texas, uh, yeah, maybe we'll meet up. Uh, anyway, uh, so going back, uh, once I have a new man room, I will be putting this on the wall uh, because it is a cool piece and I just want to show it. It is a Greg Land piece. He is slightly doing a Greg Land face. Uh, you can tell immediately that's his art, but it is fucking cool. I mean, that is some intense-ass Magneto. Uh, I just want to point out that if Greg Land drew intense-ass shit like that and less of the cheesy stuff, dude, he'd be on fire. Um, and I know I'm overgeneralizing. He does draw some intense stuff, clearly. Um, but, alright, so, for all you Greg Land lovers out there, uh, you land lovers, <laughs> matey. <laughs> uh, Teddy's back, bitches. Oh, but only so we say land lover. It's covers his eyes, got patch. Anyway, here we go again. You know you're at this asylum when I start getting fucking a little loony here. Anyway, so 
if uh, you land lovers, <laughs> we're going to coin that one along with the faces. <laughs> uh, if you guys uh, are watching this on a continual basis, you're like, hey, fuck you, stop making fun of Greg Land. Where, later, Hosen! Here we go. Uh, I don't know what later Hosen has to do with this piece, but uh, I'm sure there's some of you who've got a bulge in your later Hosen for the land loving. <laughs> so, there you go, fair and balanced. I do enjoy that piece. Okay? Show's all about, uh, like I said, checks and balances and uh, rights and wrongs. So today, uh, this may be a theme, kind of like the boobs in the other one, because there's a couple things I'll touch on here uh, when it comes to writers and artists, where I like one thing and I don't like another. So, speaking of comics, uh, this is a comic book show, so let's fucking feature some. Alright, let's start with some titles uh, that aren't really necessarily part of the Marvel or DC Universe. Um... Thus, not making it part of the big two. Uh, this is a Marvel imprint called Icon. It puts out Kick-Ass here. Uh, so, I, I do count it. But, uh, anyway. Kick-Ass, uh, whoops. Number uh, seven was bloody. Uh, kind of per usual. It was uber violent. Per usual. Um, and I enjoyed it. Per usual. Uh, I wouldn't say that it's anything phenomenal. It, uh, it's not the best issue of Kick-Ass thus far. But it does push the storyline quite a bit. Um, you do see... A major cast change here. Um, so that's kind of neat. Um, and you get some payoffs for stuff that has been building. Uh, anyway, though, uh, good issue, but nothing great. Next up, uh, for any of you that don't know what's going on here with this, uh, go ahead and introduce it first. This is the web. Uh, it's a red circle uh, comic, basically. It's a red circle character uh, that DC is bringing in. They just got these characters, they're old Archie uh, superhero comic characters. Uh, but the Red Circle characters, they started out by doing a one-shot uh, for each character by J. Michael Straczynski um, and focusing on an individual character. Then later on, uh, I think it's already begun though, uh, they've started putting out the, indi or the individual characters are now in their own ongoing series. So uh, most of them I really wasn't interested in, to be honest with you, but the web, I really felt that he had a pretty cool aesthetic there. Uh, really kind of enjoyed the costume. Uh, the story itself, I can't say I really latched onto the character. Um, not not for a lack of good writing, just the character didn't enthrall me. It didn't bring me in. Um, he's kind of more like spoiled ass Bruce Wayne, who has a gambling problem brother who everybody thought was a saint, um, and that's his. You know, and that guy takes a dive, and that's basically his motivation. So he's like all kinds of superheroes and their motives, kind of like <laughs> squished into one. Um, so I don't know. Still, fucking cool costume. Uh, whoever did the design on that, uh, I don't I don't know a whole lot about my history of the Archie slash Red Circle comic characters, um, but I do know that's a cool costume. I'm sure it's been tweaked a bit. If not, hey, mad props to the um, the gentlemen or or ladies or whoever put that together. Um, so all right, one shot, but don't think I'll be picking up the series. All right, next up, I finally got through Wonder Woman 34. And Wonder Woman 35. Um, I gotta say, I'm really just not enjoying Wonder Woman. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna drop it. I just don't really enjoy where Gail Simone's taken the character. Uh, I don't think it's... I mean, it's added a lot to it, um, in a way, but nothing that I'm really enjoying. Uh, and my other problem is a lot of the character designs are terrible. Look at that, the red costume, uh, the fiery costume on the bottom. That's Wonder Woman. Uh... Her and Black Canary go off the fight in, like, a chick fight superhero battle thing. Uh, the design on that was terrible. The Lepresti art, Aaron Lepresti art, is gorgeous. I do really like his uh, his artistic interpretation of Wonder Woman. Um, it's very gorgeous. Um, but overall, the title for me just doesn't seem to... I kind of like the web thing. It doesn't really draw me in. There's nothing one, you know, no one item in particular. Uh, it's not that the writing's terrible. It's not that the art is terrible by any means. Uh, we have uh, a writer and artist who are highly capable. Uh, at their craft, um, I'm I, I'm big fans of both, um, but uh, I just something about Wonder Woman's just not clicking with me. I really did enjoy the Greg Rucka stuff, and I think just the tonal shift is kind of just like jilted me. Um, I'm just not enjoying Wonder Woman, so it's unfortunate. Get back here! There's no escape. <laughs>